Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic spring break. Uh, we had a good time. We drove to New Mexico, saw our daughter, did a bunch of stuff back there, traveled around the state. Uh, but on the way there, I got a phone call that changed everything, a pivot point where all my plans are now jumbled around and I have to adjust because that's how life works. Life isn't a pattern like you see right here, repetition. You know, and some of you might think, yeah, it's 24 hours in a day, there's seven days in a week, five days I have to go to school, you know, blah, 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 it just happens again and again and it never changes. You know, if that's your point of view, you're missing out on a lot of life because there's a lot more to life than black and white and repetition. This pattern, what's it made of? Is it made of this shape right here? Is this the tile? Or perhaps, is this the tile? Can you see the difference between these four elements and these four elements? And there's yet four other elements. But it, it, the point is, there are a number of ways to achieve results like a pattern. In life, there are infinite ways to find your way through the pattern of day-to-day -day life. Okay, I got a lot to say. Uh, this may be a little longer video than normal, but just hang in there because there's some important stuff. Okay, so the quote of the day, once again, from the end of average. Uh, if you remember before break, I'd been talking about this, and I want you guys to free your mind from the tyranny of average because it does not exist, only in our imaginations, that it plays a realistic role in the survival of our species. I mean, you know, science, the scientific method, this is an important element on our road to tomorrow. But averages, as far as human beings go, if you, you doubt this, you got to go back, man, because it's incredibly limited and they always coalesce into patterns. And they're always so self-evident and rational, common sense, that it's hard to see beyond them. Now, whether or not you believe that, yeah, it's up to you. This is math. This is, not, this is not opinion. This is not conjecture. It's not a hypothesis. This is absolute, finalized mathematical evidence that justifies these conclusions. And if you doubt that, read the friggin' book, okay? And, you know, look to the science. Investigate it. Dig into it. Because thinking human beings are necessary for tomorrow. All right, I go on about that. But right now, I want you guys to understand, on our trip to New Mexico on the first day, the phone rang and the doctor's scheduler said, hey, April 27th, that's your pre-op appointment. May 17th, May 17th, this is April 17th. That's a month away. Surgery. I get a new knee on May 17th. There is a minimum two-week recovery, supposedly. So I am out until the 31st of May. I hope to return on June 1st, but, you know, hey, good stuff can happen, so maybe I can get there earlier. I don't know. It's not math. June 5th, finals week, is the absolute latest. I hope to return, but, you know, bad stuff can happen, too. I have no idea. This is out of my control. What is in my control is our system. The journal that you enter information into, no matter what's going on here, I'm going to be able to follow your work in the journal. I'm going to be able to communicate with the sub who's going to be in the classroom. And in all likelihood, it's going to be Ms. P who's taken over the class. And she and I 
see eye to eye about what's going on in here and your responsibilities. Live up to your end of the deal. You got no worries. Blow it off. F. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just, just don't, don't do that. That, that's a bad choice. But one last thing before I leave you. We have a link, an additional link here. I told you when I showed you that last week before spring break, I showed you Adobe Firefly and I talked about AI and, you know, invited you to look into AI online and ChatGPT as well as the other image uh, generating apps. Uh, and all of it is in its infancy, but it's growing up at hyperspeed. And when I said it's going to obliterate everything, there were a number of students who took exception to that. Well, as an Adobe education leader, I get a peek behind the curtain. I see what's coming, but can't talk about it because of a non-disclosure agreement that I signed, promising I would not talk about stuff they don't want talked about before they release it. So here is a link to the new AI remove tool in Photoshop, but it's in Photoshop beta. This article shows you how to download the beta, but if you look at this picture and look at this picture, and then when you watch the video and read this article and you're going to find out that it's just zip zap, that stuff is gone, that is impossible. It was impossible. There is so much on the horizon that's going to change. So many exciting things. And yes, yes, bad actors can misuse it and cause havoc. And yeah, it, we don't need better technology. We need better humans. And if there's one important thing I want you to take away from this class is that you have it within your power to be a better version of yourself, a better human and help tomorrow be a better place for everyone. All right, you guys, that's way too long, but ah, I love you. It's going to be good to spend the next four weeks with you. Who knows what's happening after that?